Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. In previous lecture, we saw how all the tables from a relational database can be imported into Hadoop and stored as flat files. Now in this lesson, we will see how to take it a step further by creating Hive tables on top of the imported data using same import all tables command in Scoop. For this, you would need to use Hive import and Hive database directives instead of warehouse directory we used earlier. The rules of this command are same as discussed in the previous lesson. So please watch it if you have missed it. You can also exclude tables like we did with Hadoop import. Let's try this out, but before that we need to create a database in Hive as this won't work without one. So let's open the Hive session. And you can open the Hive session by simply typing Hive. Now, in order to create a database, the command is create database MySQL scoop. That's the name of our database. Enter. Oh, it does not allow hyphen. So we'll use underscore. Okay, so database is created. So we can run the scoop command now. And I'll copy this from previous exercise to save some time. So now the next command is hive import. Then we need hive database. And in our case, it is mysql underscore scoop. And we want to exclude following tables. Departments, comma, employees. Remember this, that exclude tables must not have any spaces in between them and they are separated by a comma and it's case sensitive and also put entire list within double quotes. Otherwise, this will not work. And we need auto reset because we may have uh, one or two tables without uh, any primary keys. And lastly, I need the driver. Let's run this. So this may take a while because it will go table by table and import it from MySQL database into Hadoop file system. And once the table data is saved into a flat file, it will create a Hive table on, on top of it. So this whole process will take a couple of minutes for it to finish. And also based on the amount of the data you have, it may take longer than anticipated. So looks like it already imported HR table uh, there is a warning, but uh, we can ignore this one. And it's also created a table in Hive uh, for HR. Department is skipping and it's working on the next table in the list, which is department employee. So it looks like there is no data in it. And it, it created a table on top of it also. So it was quite quick. Now it's working on uh, next table, I believe. So as far as this command is concerned, I, I find scoop very helpful uh, because I can import entire database from relational system into Hadoop and also create Hive table on top of it. So this whole process takes just one single command and it makes it very easy for developers to run this. As we expected, it also skipped employees table, so which is good. It has imported salaries. It looks like all these have some data. There's a, it shows number of files. That's the number of uh, files those are created on the SDFS side. 
number of rows it shows zero i think there is some bug in here uh, it's not zero so we can ignore it for now you can also see that there is some size so this is the size in bytes uh, this is the size of the files in total okay so this is done let's go back to hive and uh, switch to this uh, new database mysql scoop show tables now you can see there are five tables added in this database so let's do select star from um, department manager maybe okay limit 10 so there's no data in it let's try HR okay HR has data what about salary All right, so we have the data. So as you see, it's very easy to import entire database into Hadoop and then to Hive using just one single command in Scoop. Try this out on your end and let me know if you have any issues. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.